I'm Marcus Roberts. I'm on the back porch. Today, I'm thinking about retirement and I'm enjoying one more time around. So, today's video I'm going to talk about our high school band and all the great stuff that's happened. Because it's been fantastic. Um, it's been a great run. We had a very good show this year. It's called Rise Up. And the kids have done amazing work. I'm just so proud of them. We went to a um, region marketing contest in Waller. Uh, we got straight first divisions, and that was a great run. A uh, fantastic run. That was on a Wednesday. Now, we're in a region that goes late for our region contest. So we had to turn right back around. And on the Saturday, right after that, we marched at an uh, area marching contest in Pflugerville with 32 other bands. And it was a pretty good run. It wasn't our best run. Or on the day of the Pflugerville contest, one of the really notable things is that our superintendent came to the contest, and he arrived, and he watched several bands before us, and then he sat with the band and watched the rest of the contest until the award, award ceremony. And I, he brought his wife, he brought his family, the whole family was there, they were all watching. I think he learned a lot of things, because on the following Monday, we received an email uh, confirming that they have approved the third band director for the following year. Now, by the way, so let me be clear about this concept. We're a 4A high school. At that area marching contest, there were 32 march marching bands, 32 marching bands, 4A. They're all the same classification. Some are a little bigger than us. Some are smaller than us. Of those 32 marching bands, well, just to let you know, right now in our district, I'm a full-time band director. The head band director, Mr. Holland, is a full-time band director. That is all the full-time band directors we have. We have one teacher who works one period a day as our color guard sponsor. Well, of the 32 bands at area, there's only one other school that only has two band directors. There's only a handful of schools that only have three band directors. And of the schools that remain, they've all got four, five, six, seven, eight band directors in their districts. We're talking about a complete difference. It's like the difference between having, you know, two coaches for a football team and nine position coaches for a football team. So that's a very different thing. So I think seeing that presented to him, I have to give him credit. He, he had to see it. But once he saw it, I think he understood that what we're dealing with here, there's the fact that we even made it to area with two band directors working that whole band, working grade 6 through 12 alone, just the two of us. I think he finally realized that we are way understaffed. Okay, so let me go back and retell the story. And, and retell it so you understand where I'm at in, in all this. So... That week of region marching contest, we went to region marching contest. We had to get to the band hall early. We had to run through the show. We had to get packed up. We had to go to region contest. We had to they celebrate. We all come back. We celebrate some more. And then I go home and I fall asleep for like two hours and then go to bed. That Friday, we had a road game. A road game in Stafford. And I sat on a school bus for more than two hours over there and more than two hours back. And got home between 12.30. I got to my house at 1.30 at night. Got up the next morning. Went to the band hall before 9 o'clock. Ran through the show. Threw everything on the trailer. Got on the bus. Drove two and a half hours on a school bus to Pflugerville. Marched the show. Sat in the stands. Worked with the kids. Hung out with parents. Got back on the school bus for two and a half hours in the dark. And got back to the band hall around 10. Got home around 11, 11.30. And then 24 hours later, I was back in my classroom teaching. And I taught the whole week. We did our Monday night rehearsal. And when we did a home game on Friday night, with an eighth grade night, with the senior night activities, it was a great show. I enjoyed, look, I enjoyed every bit of this. And then on Saturday morning, I got up and you'll see some video. You will have already seen this video a long time ago, but I made video of the uh, march in at the Texas A&M game on Saturday morning. And I didn't even realize it at that time, but I was completely exhausted. As soon as we got home, I ate an early lunch around 10 o'clock. 
And then I fell asleep and I woke up at 4.30. I slept the whole day. And then I was up until 9.30. Then I went to bed on time and slept all night. And then I'm, I'm, I'm up today. This is Sunday. Sunday morning. And I know I'm going to take another nap here in a little while. I am physically spent. And that's, that's, I guess that's what I have to say. Even with all this success and all this good news, can't, I can't enjoy it. I just can't. There's nothing in the tank. My birthday is next month. And as soon as I hit my birthday, I can file my retirement papers. And that's going to be my biggest part of my celebration for my birthday. I'm going to fill out every paper except for the last one that I turn in when I actually walk away. And then in January, I'm going to announce that I'm retiring. I want everybody to know I'm going to be completely upfront and let everybody know the situation. I want David to have every opportunity to hire a good person to replace me. So I'm not going to last minute this stuff. And guys, with all that said, I'm enjoying my one more time in WOW. I got to check off area marching contest again. It's been really nice. Those kids are great. That show is great. Really proud of them. Really happy with the way it turned out. And just make sure people know how what a good time I had my last year. Because I had a really good time. Remember that. But don't forget, Marcus, you're freaking exhausted. And don't you dare come back and do this next year. This is Marcus Roberts. I'm enjoying one more time around.